first thing it says, the goal of this level is to log in. Do the following in order to achieve the goal. Um, after obtaining the credentials, connect to the server via SSH. The host you'll be connecting to is this one. On port 22, credential that we're going to need, and then just a century one, UN, and then a password. All right. Without the port. All right, so the password for Century 2 is the build version of the instance of PowerShell installed on this team. So the format is as follows, includes all periods. Uh, be sure to look for the build version and not the PowerShell version. Okay, so here is the build. <laughs> SSH. Uh, and then I think I copied it to the clipboard and are we in? Yes, we're in to three. The password for century three is the name of the built in commandlet that performs the W get like function within PowerShell plus the name of the file on the desktop invoke web request. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good, right? Invoke web request. This one. We just have a DR here. The name here is 443. Hopefully you can all see that. This one, and we have invoke web request 443. We are going to go lower. I W R. Give me some love. Boom. All right. So the password for century five is the name of the file within a directory name of the file within a directory on the desktop that has spaces in its name. So go back over here to another DIR. And so this one has spaces CD CD and then I typed in the first beginning part of CAN and then I tabbed out. And so that obviously gets you inside of the folder name of 6161580. And once we go to number five, I'm going to paste that on in. Password for Century 6 is a short name of the domain in which the system resides in, plus the name of the file on the desktop. Let's get the window object let's copy this one uh, back over here let's paste it and let's see if that just worked okay and so here is under the wire verify a few other things let's come here let's paste this under the wire is what i think we would be using in this instance and then we would also have in this uh this name right here this one uh, paste here enter uh, so this one just the number of folders number of folders I'm thinking it's just counting on the desktop here so this one's saying 197 uh, running it this way come on we got to be getting into the more difficult stuff here 197 the password for century 8 is in a readme uh, somewhere within the contacts. Okay. Um, the password will be lowercase. Okay. So we should already be logged in. Can you do a cat? No, I don't think you could do it. Let's just try it. Seven points. Huh? Maybe you can do cat. All right. So seven points is what I am showing that the answer is going to be. Come on. Password is the number of unique entries within the file on the desktop. So we're in the desktop, unique entries, slash unique dot text. I mean, 696. Number nine, six, nine, six. Are we in? Yes, we're in. The password for Century 10 is the 161st word within the file on the desktop. Uh, let's go our directory here. And let's do a cat on our word file. 
and it said the 161st word. What's the name of that? Oh, it's called word file underscore file. And we're going to go 10 paste here. Let's see if it works. We are in uh, the password for 11 is the 10th and 8th word of the Windows Update service description combined plus the name of the file on the desktop. It said the 10th and the 8th word. It also says that this one stopped. Would we need to start the service? Net start. Okay. So it says here the Windows Update service was started successfully. Let's see what we've got. So this is going to pull down anything that looks like Windows Update. Uh, you are, uh, you got it. It's going to be in here. And here's the description. Five, six, seven, eight. So updates. So Windows updates all together. And the last part of it was the name of the file on the desktop, which we can get that one pretty simple. So 1110. So this is what I am showing should be the password. And now we're going to go to 11 um, as I was copying and pasting. Yes. The password for Century 12 is the name of the hidden file within the contacts desktops downloads folder. Okay. So it just ran and we see there's a file right over here in downloads called secret sauce underscore sauce. Congratulations. You found it. Uh, number 12 here. Number 12. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Come on. Come on, dude. Uh, is the description of the computer designed as a domain controller with this domain plus the name of the file on the desktop? I thought it said that there were seven properties left. And is it description right here? Uh, so here is the description. There you go. Uh, pretty sure that is going to be it here. Yeah, this is actually the desktop file is underscore things. Paste is the number of words within the file on the desktop. Seven fifty five is the answer and uh, seven five five. Tell me that was right. <laughs> uh, the password for this one's the number of the times the words polo appears within the file on the desktop. Okay. <laughs> I totally just pasted that in the wrong place. Yes. 153. So, um, it may actually be 152. I don't know. 153. <laughs> Thank you everyone for spending time with me. I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate you. Take care everyone. Peace.